chooses who will go and who will stay. This is ludicrous. Hello everyone, my name is Cody. The guy you see on the screen is Eli, and today we are showing you how we're making money from claw machines and vending machines. So, this will be a very interesting video. We are at our grocery store location for this first spot. So, Route 66, SMB Crane. Let's go ahead and scoot that Black Panther plush back. It was placed a little too close up front so nobody could win it that's okay now now somebody has a really good chance of getting in there and winning it all right the toys look full and we are set to go let's see how much money this claw made we're gonna go ahead and get the coins out first i don't know i think we've made like a, tra a tradition of doing the coins first i don't know if i can think of an instance that we've pulled the money first let me know down in the comments below if we have but look at all of that wow this is a really good spot i i'm really happy that that this came to that this came to be because i mean look at that boom I love it. Beautiful. All right. We're going to go ahead and move on down to our hardware store location. This is a really fun location. The guys here are really nice. We also have a snack machine here. It does pretty well. But we also, we actually started with a candy machine. The owner came out and asked us if we also did snack machines. That's back when we were really pushing to do soda and snack machines. We've since then backed down from that sort of, uh, that part of the industry, but we told them we could do it and, and it's, pretty good. it's a pretty good spot. We don't pay any commission on either the candy machine or the snack machine there, so. The Reese's Pieces were a special request by the clerk at the front of the store, which was a really good choice because they're looking low, so that means they did pretty well. Let's go ahead and open this up. And whoops, dropped a few quarters. No big deal. This machine has... This machine was last serviced a little over a month. So, yeah, it's not looking too bad. Uh, this one did 28.75, so... It's a pretty, it's a pretty good pool. Can't, can't complain about that. Little extra left inside there. All right, moving on, we got ourselves here another Mexican restaurant. This Mexican restaurant is, well, I'll let you see for yourself. Open it up, and let's take a look at how much it did. Now, this is this is one month right here, okay? So keep that in mind. And yeah, imagine the look on our faces. Let's open up the the Bill magazine. And yeah, so after a very short discussion. We came to the conclusion that it would be best if we removed the claw from that location. But we've arrived to another Mexican restaurant. Now this one, this one does very well. And look how low that candy machine is. And if you notice that by the the nerd gumballs, it was it's loaded up, but it is actually jammed. So we need to come by and replace that. But let's go ahead and fill up this claw machine. I swear that the plush in here gets one so fast, just it never lasts, uh, never lasts very long at all. I, I do think a lot of people actually do go for the, 
for the ducks though because there's just so many different ones that you can um that you can that you can win we got some cool plush in there got some teenage mutant ninja turtles got some pokemon cards just got some regular cool fish and owls it's all good stuff let's go ahead and open this up and see how she did Turn the key, pull out the box, and it did pretty good. It's 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 getting there. Now we're just looking at this. We're not uh we're not gonna be collecting it today. Just kind of giving it a kind of a look at how it did, and it's doing pretty good. Pretty well. This is a pretty good, pretty good location, and it's and its bulk is also very good. Gotta jimmy this key a little bit. I don't know what it is about this machine. It, it has uh, it's having a, a turn problem and a and a lock problem. But man, it uh, it's doing it's, it did very well on bulk. This machine will do 1850, and a lot of that has to do with the uh, the coin mech for the nerd gumballs. So I have to get that fixed, and sales will pick up. But look how empty this neon world is. This is at a grocery store some miles away from us but very very worth it uh this machine was actually set to a dollar maybe maybe two or three services ago so we actually started to notice a real spike in sales uh, just look at that wow so setting to 50 cents a play it you know it really will in increase your uh increase your plays of course you know you would expect that uh, we were talking to another guy that does arcade equipment and he said that one of his buddies is actually running running their claws as 25 cents each so look at all that jack all right now let's go ahead and count up all this money now this is the grocery store 92.25 and it did 166 in cash so that's pretty pretty good and that's a month uh that's 30 days so it performed very very well very happy with that all right let's go ahead and move on to our next this was the grocery store 67.25 it did 118 in singles and five so that's that's a really good spot as well. Very happy with that. And we're gonna go ahead and get our next location. This is the three-headed candy machine at the hardware store, 2875. That's a that's a nice that's a nice little spot. I uh, I really like it. And I like the people a lot too. It's a it's a great place of service. No complaints. These next quarters are from the Mexican restaurant. Now this is slacking a little bit because the gumball uh, coin mech didn't work very well. But let's go ahead and just pile in everything. Let's see how much it all made all together. 206. Just throw the money in there too. Gross total, guys. 521. 75 not too bad all right guys thank you so much for watching hit that like button that subscribe button don't forget to turn on the notification bells to let you know when we come out with a new video and guys we will be in las vegas tomorrow until the evening of the 28th i hope to see you guys there giveaway winners will be announced at some point on march 29th when we return all right guys thank you so much for watching goodbye